Hello everybody, a very happy Thursday to you and hope you're doing well. Something different here on the channel, uh, I was selected as one of the content creators to uh, showcase this new information about SnowRunner. So we've played Spin Tires on the channel, Mud Runner on the channel, and now SnowRunner when it comes out, I will definitely be playing it. So I gladly accepted. I'm not being paid or anything like that, um, but we're going to go over some things in uh, this new game. So the biggest thing is the new engine in the game. It's built on the Swarm engine, uh, which is a very powerful uh, engine. It's the same one as the game World War Z that has like hundreds of zombies on screen at a time. Uh, and it pushes the limits with better graphics now. Uh, you have mud and water that have been approved. Um, but now we have the addition of snow and ice. And I think that's going to be awesome. I can already imagine myself falling down the side of a mountain. Uh... <laughs> by uh, going off a snowdrift or something like that. Uh, snow physics are completely new, so this takes into account of vehicle momentum, snow depth, and snow wetness. Um, the Swarm engine allows for larger maps to go with the regional macro gameplay progression uh, that we have come to love. Now, uh, that means that four times the size of the Mudrunner maps that we know. Uh, there's three regions. You get Tymere, uh, Alaska, and Michigan. Um, and like I said, these things are massive, humongous open maps and four times the size. So uh, what does this mean? Well, sandbox missions uh, that we uh, know from other other games like, you know, Spin Tires and Mud Runner, um, it allows you to take any road, vehicle, and gear you have available to you. Now, something new is that you'll be able to basically, uh, you could start in one map and you can end up in another. And I think that that's awesome. So that allows freedom uh, when you're approaching uh, the contracts. Now, the new thing is modding. So we're used to the Steam uh, Workshop, but this is on the Epic Game Store. So they're gonna have their own modding built into the game client itself. Uh, they do have a partnership with, with mod.io, um, which this is actually a really, really cool thing because this is gonna allow you to have mods in a console version of the game. And I know that that's gonna make a lot of people happy. They've already been talking with modders ahead of the launch uh, so they can make community tested tools. Uh, you'll be able to mod vehicles and that's confirmed, but they have not revealed that side of the game to us. We don't really know uh, any more than anybody else at this time. Mods will be available at launch at the Epic Game Store. Like I said, not the Steam Workshop. I know it's going to uh, make some people upset, but uh, it kind of is what it is. Um, but, you know, the addition of mods coming to console, I think that that's awesome. So. I know that that's going to make a lot of people happy. Now, with multiplayer, you're going to have new tools, uh, a new UI. Uh, they've worked on the net coding and the game modes. Still only four players, sadly. That kind of is upsetting. Um, and it looks like they have made some improvements in the multiplayer sense of it does show tracks in the mud and snow. It pushes vegetation out of the way. I'm talking about the other players around you. Uh, and then you can knock down the road signs. No mention in there if the sound is actually going to be synced up or um, anything that we've seen in the past uh, with Mud Runner. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. All right. Well, I am really excited about this game, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing some uh, multiplayer with Alex and maybe Dave, um, and uh, just having a good old time. But uh, I'm I, the the improvements that have been uh, put forth here are definitely better than the last game. So I'm excited for that. I'm a huge fan of this style of game uh, and I can't wait to play it. Another thing that's really, really cool is that we will have working gauges and dials in the actual cabin of the trucks that we're driving. And that was something that was not in the previous games that is in the new ones. And I'm super stoked for that. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of SnowRunner. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.